Hello everyone and welcome back to the Geek Productive YouTube channel. Today we are very lucky to be joined by Mickey Mellon to dive into Rome Monthly to share some of the latest updates that Rome Research has that you may be interested in. Now we are continuing to do these sort of monthly updates for both Obsidian and Rome as they add new features. So just be aware these videos will still be coming out at least until March time this year. Just to give you an idea of what's the latest tools and softwares and how and what they're adding to their platforms. So some exciting news, Mickey has actually released his first Rome research course which will be available in the link in the description. This is a brand new course that overviews all that you need to know about Rome. It's priced at $79. I'll include all the details below. In today's feature he actually Actually shares a little bit more about the different updates that Rome added including page embeds, the likes of an embedding Spotify and also the new Rome templates and a little bit more about them. So a huge thank you to Mickey for coming here on the channel to dive into just that. Hey so welcome back again. Uh, it's time for a look at what Rome Research has added in December 2020. As with most months they've added a ton of little bug fixes and little enhancements. I won't get into too many of those but a few little ones to hit and then a couple bigger features that are kind of neat. So the first is they now have tool tips for aliases and links. So if you were to do a link like this, I'll just do here a link to Google. Uh, have that. If I hover over it now, you get a little tool tip showing what's behind it. So if you have an alias or a link, you get a little tool tip showing behind it. Probably more valuable on aliases, but still kind of useful. Uh, next they have page embeds. Page embeds work a lot like normal embeds and actually don't even show up in the menu yet. But if you slash embed, you have a block embed. Right here you have the four parentheses, the two left and the two right to surround the block. If you change those instead to double brackets, like for a page, and then put the name of a page in there, that will do a page embed. And so you can see my metadata page is here now. If I click the left here, it'll expand out and show the full page. I need to do what I want with, including the backlinks and stuff. And then if I want, I can collapse that. And of course, you can keep it hidden as a sub block and just collapse the whole thing if you want. Uh, the next thing they've added is expandable parentheticals. Um, and what this is, is a way to add double parentheses around something and not make it an embed, but make it collapsible. So you can put them anywhere, really, in the middle of a sentence and make it collapse. And so the way this works is you do the double parentheses and it searches for a block. So not a block. <laughs> um, and so you can see I can create a new one called a block, pick that, or just click off of it. If you just click off of it, it makes it that expandable parenthetical. So if you then click off of it, that now can expand and contract as needed. And there's some neat things you can do for closed detection and some of that kind of stuff if you get into um, other, other study habits with here, or just if you want to collapse things more in the middle of the sentence, you can do that. So expandable parentheticals are that. Uh, a little one here is you can embed Spotify. Uh, again, they don't have it as a slash command, but if you just do code like this, just the double curlies at Spotify colon and then a link to a Spotify playlist and double curlies at the end, that will embed a Spotify playlist. This is a Focus at Will playlist I have uh, just for Focus music. And so that you can embed right on a page if you want. Any, any Spotify list will do there. The last big thing they added, and they're still tweaking it a lot right now, are official templates. So if you use Rome slash templates as a page, all lowercase, it won't autofill the first time. You need to create it. Um, you can then access anything you tag with that or put on that page with a double semicolon. So if you go to my Rome templates page, you see I haven't put anything here, but I could. I could put something here called um, new template. Whenever I do that, I want to say one, one, two, two. Uh, but also I have other places like in my metadata where I just had my metadata and put the word Rome templates just next to it. And either one of those will do the job. So if we go back to this now, uh, if I go to a blank line and hit um, semicolon, semicolon, you can see I have my books, articles, whatever. There's my new template. If I click it, it just inserts that new template in there. Um, like you saw, or if I wanted, if I have a new book I'm reading, I can just do that, start typing books, and there it is, and pulls it in. It's actually better than I thought it would be. At first, I thought this is kind of silly. I can just go to my metadata page and copy stuff over. I keep it in the sidebar, and it's not a big difference, but hey, it's really fast and does make it quick if you get things set up right. So again, just double uh, semicolon and start typing, or just drop down the list if you want, have a new article, and there it is. It pulls in whatever you have, including any tags, any markup you have all pulls in with that template. So lots of good little updates in December. I uh, hope you find this helpful and we'll see you again next month.